Chumai, and thank you, Kuyana, to all of you for allowing me to speak to you today and to help open your school community education conference. I'm Senator Lisa Murkowski. My father is Frank Murkowski. My mother is Nancy Murkowski. I was born down in Ketchikan, Alaska. I was raised in Wrangell and Juneau, Anchorage and Fairbanks. Now, since becoming a United States Senator, I have been fortunate to get to know and love so many, many communities in rural Alaska. A great summer that I had was back in 2003 when I brought my son Matt on a Kuskokwim River trip. We visited Akiachak, and at that time Matt was probably about fifth or sixth grade. Um, his eyes were wide open with that visit. It was important for him, it was important for me, and I thank you for your hospitality to us. And I look forward to coming to visit you in person again someday. Now, I've learned so much from my friends and the elders of the Yupik communities along the Kuskokwim River. I've learned about the high value that you place on helping others in the community. I've learned about the respect that the young people give to the elders and the guidance and, and love the elders give to the children and the youth. And I also recognize the strength and the power of the aunties. When the aunties get together, good things happen. Now, I'm also aware of the many challenges that the Yupik people in Akiachak and elsewhere along the river face on a daily basis. But I believe that young people can overcome those challenges as their ancestors before them have done. And how can they do that? Well, they do it by equipping themselves with the knowledge and the skills that they will need to contribute to their families, their community, and in their turn, become respected elders who guide our 21st century generations. Now, I'd like to talk directly to the young people there at Akiachak School. I know that each of you wants to experience the joy of learning, learning to do something new, of, of accomplishing something that you may have thought would be difficult. That excitement is so much more powerful than the feeling of just giving up or walking away. Just ask some of your elders, like, like uh, Willie Kasaili, ask them. Your principal and your teachers can talk to you about what they have to offer. They can help you learn to read and write and do the math and understand science. Now, I know that some of you are probably saying, well, why should I care about school? But with the skills and the knowledge you gain in school, you'll be able to do so many things to help your families and to help your community in the Yupik tradition. In school, you can learn things that will help prepare you to communicate with the state and federal governments, whether it's about hunting or fishing laws, or perhaps you become a nurse um, and work at the clinic, or, or go into education. You could be the superintendent of the Yupik school district, or get the training that you need to become a pilot or the skills that you need to, to build houses. So students, I, I encourage you, come to school every day, listen to your teachers, and really soak up that free gift of knowledge that your teachers offer you so that you can apply that knowledge to help your family and your community to be strong into the future. Now, I know that it may be difficult. You think this is not going to be easy, and, and, and I know that some of you might not feel like doing it. You may not know why you need to learn something today, but I can assure you that every piece of knowledge that you gain will make your life better in some way in the days and in the years ahead. I tell my kids every single day you should be learning something new, every single day. And if you do, that brings joy. That brings excitement. Now, during the course of today's meeting, there will also come a time when the elders, the parents, and the aunties, some of the other adults of Akiachak, can share what they can do in the school to help the children. I imagine there are many who want to come into the school during the day to check on, on their kids, see how they're doing, um, perhaps help them learn something that may be difficult for them. I know parents who love to come to the schools to watch the sports. Uh, we all love to watch the basketball games. I know many of you have great ideas to help the school serve the students better. It might be something like an offer to bring uh, an animal or, or a fish to class to help the students learn about uh, biology and the anatomy. 
Um, there are so many different ways that our elders can teach and help, and so many different ways in which they can help the teachers teach reading and writing, math and science, and do so in a culturally relevant way. I know that together you will offer many exciting ways to help the children. I congratulate you for the work that you've done so far and for gathering together. I wish you a wonderful conference and a great year ahead.